dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and thank you for joining in on today's daily devotion. I am Sisiam from Tribes Qatar, and today I'm going to be sharing to you our verses from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7, that says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up and never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. This chapter is considered by many to be the supreme treatise in love and indeed this chapter 13 is also known too as the love chapter. But before that, I wanted to give you a little background on this chapter 13. The book of 1 Corinthians was written by Apostle Paul during his many journeys in preaching the word of God. This book was written addressing to the Corinthian church as they were experiencing a period where the spirit of love was absent. In this chapter, Apostle Paul outlined the importance of demonstrating love in action by showing sincere concern for other members in the body of Christ. Apostle Paul described characteristics of love to the believers in the church of Corinth. In this verses 4 to 7, he shows practices of love and how love is greater than all spiritual gifts because of its selfless characteristics. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been called to love people, to be a reflection of the love that Jesus Christ showed us. Jesus showed his love by sacrificing himself on the cross for you and me to have eternal life. This is the greatest act of selflessness that has ever been recorded in the history. This passage tells us how we should display our love in our lives. Paul shows us that this is the way we ought to be as followers of Jesus. This is not primarily to praise the character of Christ, rather it's calling us to be like Christ by imitating His love. When we consider this passage, let us look deeper in the significance of its true meaning and earnestly pray that Christ may be formed in us so that we are enabled to love as He loves. If we can take Jesus' name and put it to whenever we see the word love in this passage, it will go like this. Jesus does not envy and Jesus is not boastful nor conceited. Jesus is not rude, nor does he insist on his own way. Jesus is neither irritable nor resentful, and Jesus does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but he rejoices with the truth, for he is the truth. And only in and through Jesus, we are able to bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. Jesus is the only one who truly fulfills this beautiful picture of love. Let's meditate on the beauty of His character and let us God do His work in our lives, transforming us ever more into His likeness by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will conclude with a passage from verses 2 to 3 that says, If I had a gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possess all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I can move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. Let's make love our priority, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's make Jesus our priority. A selfless love is the priority of every Christian. Let's grow all in this God-ordained love. As we all aim to create loving family and society, as we prepare to reunite one day with the God of love. Think right and you will love right. Have a blessed day, my dear beloveds.